Hello guys, it's Nerv. We're back with the purple crystal armor set that was added into the shop today. So let's go ahead and get that 360 going. Now this armor is a recolor of the recently received Arctic Crystal set we got in the shop. However, it is not the complete Arctic Crystal set. It is mi missing the bow and the apparition. But we weren't worried about those too much. We got the full set here with the cape. Um, I do have some uh, complaints about both the use of a full price recolor uh, being released so close to the original and also the lack of design originality and pricing. We're going to save all of those kind of counter arguments to the set for the end of the video and we're just going to focus on the actual design and implementation of it in, in the first part of the video. It is an asymmetrical cloth armor. It has a metal pauldron on one shoulder. It has kind of a cloth overcoat on the left shoulder. Uh, also available is a black cape with purple crystals and purple trimmed uh, kind of like a tattered edging that goes with it. The problem of the cape not being the same base color as the original armor has been carried over from the Arctic Crystal set into this one. The purple crystal cape is a darker black than the actual armor is. If they were going to go through with this recolor, which they did, I was very much wanting that cape to be fixed. I didn't want that. I didn't want that problem on the original. I don't like that problem here. It's kind of just something that kind of just bugs me. Just a little bit of communication there would have helped. In general, I think this cloth armor uh, looks good on most of the smaller classes. It kind of looks really nimble, really light, easy to move in. Uh, very little armor is actually present on it. It's mostly just cloth. So I think it looks pretty good on every small class that wouldn't really have the weight to carry large bulky armor. Interestingly enough, the shoulder has such a tint that it actually looks really good on the Templar. There's no very evident clipping that happens there. So uh, at least that's an upside. Looks good on my boy the Templar. And as always, it looks pretty good on the witch here. You can see the purple mask really well. I'm sorry that I have the head attachment there. I kind of forgot to take it off and it blended in pretty well. So I, I think it works. As far as combo potential goes, it works good with the Abyssal Lich gear. It works good with any of the Breach or Prophecy gear you may have. In the shop, the Undertaker gear it works pretty well with. It works well with uh, any, any of the sort of gloom attachments here. I'm just playing around with various other things trying to see just what exactly it'll work with. But generally it works well with uh, with a lot of other things. You'll see. The main complaint that I have with this armor, actually several complaints that I have with this armor, is that one, it is a recolor. I'm not a huge fan of recolors in general. I've never liked them in this game. I've never liked them in any of the other games that I've played. I, in general, I think they lack any kind of design originality at all it took was a designer to look at the arctic crystal set and say hey i want that in purple and suddenly we have this so it really uh disappoints me because path of exile usually has really really good art direction except for when it doesn't and uh, i'm disappointed there second of all i'm disappointed that we it's going to be full price um so for any of you that are interested in this armor set that is a full 64 dollars for the full set plus the cape regardless of whether or not you already have the arctic crystal set so it's just a straight up same price for a premium armor just recolored and uh, I, I don't approve of that at all in any way shape or form there's lots of other games that do armor recolors way better than path of exile does and they have done this in the past with i think three other armors we have the purple necrotic we have got the lightning infernal and we've got the pale pale demon keen and pale chaos ultimate chaos so four other armor sets that they've done full recolors on and all of them have been full price and all of them got a hugely negative reaction from the community and they still did not change that for this armor and so i'm disappointed with that now i can understand from ggg's perspective why they may want to push out a product such as this we are one month or a little over a month into the betrayal cycle which means we are very we're very close to the next league already there's only two months of development time left before that's released so for them from their viewpoint this armor set requires no, D no 3D artists to be pulled off of that project and placed onto microtransactions to provide us with a new armor set. With this, they can just pull one or two 2D artists, pass that assignment off to them, and then it's a very, a very easy step into their, to their development cycle. So I can understand that. However, that being said, I still think there are better ways to implement this sort of idea that don't boil the community's blood when it comes to microtransactions it's already such a touchy subject with the pricing being what it is and i generally don't like to be get into that conversation but i do think it is irrelevant to bring it up here that this sh um, should not be priced at where it is however that is all i'm going to say on that because that is a long argument and this is, needs to be a short video 
So final verdict, I think this for me is a hard pass simply because of all the negatives associated with it and simply because I don't want anybody to kind of support this kind of monetization behavior from GGG. If you're going to support anything, support one of the armor sets that has originality in its design that is that is just, I don't know, not this. Go buy the two-gun armor set. Like, I know it's weird, but at least it has a little bit of personality and some originality in the design, and it's not just, you know, purple rogue dude. That was originally ice rogue dude. So, uh, yeah. That's all I have to say about that. Thanks for tuning in, guys.